Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Uh, I wanted to do one last vlog, and you know, I thought about it, and I finally decided what I wanted to talk about. Um, I really wanted to talk about how I personally saw just an average day at <clears throat> Disney versus how I saw an average day at Universal. Just like what made going to Disney special and what made going to Universal special. So, <clears throat> I grew up going to Disney, but I also enjoyed going to Universal a lot when I was uh, living in Florida as well. So, let's just start with Disney, just because, you know, I grew up going there my whole life. Uh, going to Disney was always one of those very special things to me. Um, especially if I was, like, say, for example, going with my brother. So, in the event that I did, like, go with my brother, for example... Me, him, and some of his friends would all get together in one car, and uh, we would drive all the way out there. Usually, um, we would um, either a meet with my dad somewhere so he could get us free parking, or b uh, that would be the one time when we would um, he and his friends would uh, all stay the night. And I would just have to deal with them all the night before. And then we would ride with my dad to work the next day. And then we would uh, take Disney transportation to uh, whatever park we wanted to, to go, wanted to go to. So um, normally we would like to go to Magic Kingdom together. So we would pack um, some uh, food and beverages for the park. And always had plenty of water bottles. Uh, we were all pretty close. I've hung out with Jonathan's friends several times over the years. So I'm very much so used to hanging around my brother's friends. So going to the parks with them did not bother me whatsoever. But anyway, um, so we would um, head out to um, the uh, park together. And um, we would um, just pretty much just enjoy... Just being around the park, we could, we always had, like, a tradition of, like, what we enjoyed doing, we had our certain areas where we would enjoy eating lunch at, and if I just went, I had a certain thing, or certain things I enjoyed doing, like, say, for example, when I was younger, I enjoyed going to the food and wine festival by myself, and I had certain areas that I enjoy sitting by myself at, but honestly, my brother was my favorite person I ever went with. And we just kind of went through the day. We always enjoyed going on all the roller coasters together. There was like not a lot that my brother didn't like at Disney that I didn't like either. So my brother honestly was always my favorite person that I ever went to Disney with. And Disney always had a special place in our hearts. And it was just never a boring time. So, you know, Disney was just... One of those um, experiences that we never got tired of, and then at the end of the day, we would um, head on our on our way back. We would um, stop and get fast food really quick. Usually, my dad would stop and get Wendy's. It was usually uh, the best option. Um, my brother's friend Josh didn't overly like everything, so. It kind of worked out that way that we would just stop and get Wendy's or something. And back then, pretty much everybody lived in the uh, Winter Haven area, so it was really easy to just drop everybody back off in the Winter Haven area. And then my dad, my brother, and I would just go home from there. And, you know, back then it was kind of interesting. We all would have our, just our good time. And it was just about the three of us just. Well, my brother, me, and then his friends just all getting together, I should say. Just having a good time, and then we just go back to our normal lives again. That's pretty much how it was. Um, my dad, for him, it was just... I either have to go back to work again the next day, or I'm off again the next day. Um, as you know, my dad worked for Disney, so... Uh, him going to Disney was just another day at work, so it really wasn't a big deal to him, but yet... The fact that he was willing to help us out was, like, a pretty big deal. 
Uh, as far as Universal goes, so I was a Universal Pass holder for quite a few years, and it gave me something different to do other than going to Disney, so um, when I became a Universal Pass holder, I used to drive all the way out there, and I used my pass to get myself free parking. Now, I started out going by myself, so that's the story I'm going to go with. So I got myself um, a... Um, you know, I got myself the original Prefer Pass back in early 2016. And I think I had gotten a um, Coca-Cola Freestyle Cup like a couple of months prior or something like that. Because I think my cousin got a, um, got us in for my birthday or something or something like that. Anyway, um... So I would, um, you know, go all the way out there, and I got myself my free parking. And I had a certain way I like to do things. I would usually start out over in um, Islands of Adventure, if I'm not mistaken. And I would um, kind of work my way around. I would start over in Marvel Superhero Island, and I would go ride... Hulk, I would go ride Spider-Man. And this is just how I've always done it. Uh, back then, there wasn't a lot over in Jurassic Park, so most of the time, I would just walk right through it. Even when Kong first came in, I didn't always uh, do that either. So I would kind of just walk through that area. Um, Harry Potter, as you know, there was only the uh, Dragon Challenge back then. And then there was... Um, the uh, Forbidden Journey. And back then, I was a lot smaller, so I would uh, go and ride Forbidden Journey, because back then they had bigger seats, but I was also a lot smaller, too. So I would go ride Forbidden Journey. And then i get off, and then i just move on. Pretty much by that point, I had written everything over in Islands. Now, Islands is getting b bigger. I mean, it's got Hagrid's now, it's got Velocicoaster... So, I mean, it's come a long way since I used to be a pass holder over there. And then I would, uh, sometimes I would get on the train and go over to the other park. Sometimes I would just walk all the way over. Uh, the other park I always had to go do, um, Rip Ride Rocket right off the bat. Um, I always had a lot more fun at the other park, especially of all the events going on, like Mardi Gras. So... Oh, yeah, Rock the Universe was always a lot of fun, too. And Halloween Horror Nights, I enjoyed up to a point. It just I never went during the nighttime, ever. I would never pay for that. But it was kind of cool seeing all the directions, regardless. So, yeah, I would go over the original park, and I would also go ride Transformers. Sometimes I would go ride Fallon when that actually opened. Uh, that actually became an all-time favorite TJ's and I's when it opened. But we're talking about back then when I first started going in early 2016. This was even before Kong. Yeah, I definitely would ride Transformers. Um, I used to ride uh, Green Gods and Men in Black. I used to ride E.T. every now and then. Like, you know, it was all fun. I enjoyed the uh, those days. I enjoyed uh, bringing my Coca-Cola Freestyle Cup and just getting free sodas and just overall it was just an interesting experience uh you'll learn more about how tj and i becoming friends uh changed how my whole entire sp perspective i guess you could say on the parks like overall and the reason why is just because tj would take my interest and turn into an obsession that's how I always saw it. And TJ was, like, really big about, ooh, we need to go do this, oh, we need to go do that. Like, TJ uh, became obsessed with Disney. TJ became obsessed with Disney Springs. TJ became obsessed with Universal. So we end up becoming Disney and Universal holics, it seemed like. So uh, when I start doing my K and TJ series, you'll understand more about that. Um, overall, um, that pretty much explains why I did enjoy going to Disney Universal over the years and just kind of why I enjoy both places. Um, just 
from a just to briefly explain so Disney I fell in love with because I grew up there, going there as a kid also uh, certain people that I went there with when I was younger like my brother made it special for me versus Universal it's just something I just enjoyed doing on my own there really was no personal reason for me to fall in love with it I would say more because of TJ that I've fallen more in love with it over the years <clears throat> than just um, the fact that I've had some that I had some previous experiences or whatever. Uh, I would definitely say overall um, the three main reasons why I've loved Universal mo more over the years is number one, TJ um, and I going there. Uh, number two, because I did a YouTube series on the uh, Universal Hotels. And I really enjoyed going to the Universal Hotels and kind of, you know, showed me what Universal was really like. So I was like, you know, this is kind of cool. So I kind of started falling in love with Universal more for that reason. And then number three, uh, the reason why I fell in love more of Universal is because TJ and I started attending a lot of the Universal Grand Opening events like... Uh, Volcano Bay, the opening of uh, the Jimmy Fallon ride, and stuff like that. So, you know, there was definitely some reasons for us to really enjoy going to Universal. But once again, I'll cover more than my TJ and K series, or K, K and TJ. Until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Crisis Strength with you. Have a great day. Peace out.